Hello everyone, my name is Miss Kareen and I'm a children's librarian at the Baxter Patrick Library on James Island. Today I'm here to show you how to make your very own mermaid puppet theater like this one. But before we get started, we have to have a visit from the mermaid named Lorelei. And Lorelei lives here inside this little box and she'll only come out if she hears the magic word. And the magic word is written an invisible ink inside this little mermaid book. And the only way that we can see it is if we use a special pink light to illuminate the letters. All right, so let's give it a try. See if you can read what the magic word is. I see it right there. It says Alakazam. Can you say that word? Let's say it all together on the count of three and see if she'll come out. Are you ready? One, two, three. Alakazam. Is she going to come out? Let's find out. Here she is, Lorelei, the little mermaid. And I'll hold her up close to the camera so you can see her. And look, she's waving hello. Let's see if she'd like to go for a swim in her little aquarium. Okay, we're going to put her in the water. Can you see her fin moving? Okay, there she goes. Let's see if I can get her to face the camera. And look, she's swimming around in her little aquarium. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our project today. Creating a mermaid puppet theater is a really fun project for you and your grown-up. I created mine with the help of my cat, Mustache Meow. Say hello, Mustache. <laughs> and here we are as puppets. Mustache Meow is a mer-cat and I am a mermaid. So you are going to use your imagination and the following objects to create your theater. You're going to use a shoebox, some glue, some scissors, some markers, some sticks like chopsticks or kebab sticks, a ruler, some paper, and for grown-up use only, a knife. Again, that's for grown-up use only. So the first step is to take your shoe box and you're going to use your ruler to measure out a rectangle with a one inch perimeter. And then your grown up is going to cut out the rectangle with the knife. Again, the grown up's gonna do that. And this creates the opening for your theater. Next, your grown up is going to take the knife and cut out two slits at the top. This is how the puppets enter into the theater. And that way they can go back and forth and twirl around. And now, this is where you come in. Your job is to create a magical underwater scene. So you're gonna open up your shoe box and the top of the shoe box is where you are going to create the scene. So you can take some paper and cover up that cardboard and then use any type of craft objects or items you might have to decorate that. You can create waves, I use seashells to create these fish and then glue them onto the background. Pipe cleaners make great seaweed or coral and jewels can be underwater bubbles, anything you can think of. Next, you're gonna close up the box and then decorate the outside. I use a lot of seashells, but you could also use jewels or anything else you can think of. Now this is optional, but if you happen to have any fairy lights, you can use those inside your theater to create some light and some drama. Now it's time to create your puppets. To create the puppets for the theater, what I did was to print out some pictures of Mustache Meow and myself. And then I printed out some clip art of mermaids. And then I cut those out. So I cut out the head and the mermaid body and then I attached them and then glued them onto a kebab stick. And you want the stick to go up into the air. And if you don't have a way to print out things, you can also use fabric to create the body or scrap paper. So that is how you make your puppet theater. So this is what mine looked like in the end. And I use a lot of glitter and shells, but there's no right way to do it. You can make your puppet theater, theater look any way you like and just use your imagination and creativity. 
and please send us any pictures that you can take of your creations. We would love to see them. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, um, and I hope you have a wonderful summer. Thank you.